Hi everyone, it's Patty. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. For today's card project, I made a birthday card for my soon-to-be six-year-old great-niece. So let's get started. So to start with, I used Pixie Dust Designs Birthday Sentiments and I stepped, stamped out four of the images. Actually, it's going to end up being five. I used the um, flags as well and used my Memento Tuxedo Black ink to stamp them out and then I used those Copic colors. So it was uh, V17, V06, V05, and RV55 to do the purples. Um, and just so you know, on the birthday hat, I did recolor that and do the trim in the turquoise. Um, so then that pink colors, I used RV66, RV55, and uh, v RV23. And then for the turquoise colors, I used BG05, BG01, and B01. So uh, I had to fussy cut the flags out because I didn't have a die for that. And then to create the background, I cut up some uh, scrap card stock. And this is all Gina K card stock. And it is lovely. And I um, cut them all into quarter inch strips. And so I used, oh, what did I use? I used turquoise C. I used Passionate Pink, Wild Lilac, and then the white is some 110 pound Nina Solar White cardstock, or Classic Crest cardstock, one of the two. And I was trying to follow a pattern, and I did end up goofing up the pattern, I think right here. I put a white when it should have been a purple, but I wasn't redoing it because it doesn't make a difference, and I'm glad it turned out just fine, so I just left it. So trimming off the edges because I'm going to need those and then continuing to add uh, the different strips. So all in all, I would say to get this done took maybe 10 minutes. So it's a really quick background, colorful background that you can make. You can do any color and it just adds so much to the design of the shaker card. I mean, it's her favorite colors. We're using our supplies, using scrap card stock. There was really nothing to it. It's such a fun background. I almost thought of making another one and then cutting out the happy birthday out of it, but I thought that would be kind of too much. But not doesn't mean I'm not going to do it, just not on this card. So as you can see, um, all of my strips were four and a quarter long. And so sometimes they weren't long enough, so the ends that I cut off, I am using to fill in, uh, whether it be just little tips that need to be filled in, or if I need to use um, two lengths in order to complete the project. I did end up, you saw I tore off that purple one. It's because I had one length in there that was a little significantly wider than a quarter inch. It wasn't as wide as a half inch, but it was, they weren't going to line up wide correctly if I used it. So I just tore it off and put a different purple one over it. So as I'm finishing this up, I believe I had to stop the camera and cut like two more purple strips or at least one more. Thankfully, I still had enough scraps left to finish it up. And it really makes a difference to use really good cardstock on this. I had other less expensive, less lower quality cardstock that I could have used, but the, the card feels so nice when you've got that significant weight and that quality on there. So I'm really glad I used it. And like I said, it's scraps. It wasn't even one card panel's worth of scraps. So there's still scraps left in my scraps, I guess I could say. So finishing trimming off, you'll notice they're stamping on the back, but I ended up, I was creating it for a project and the ink didn't dry right. There's a little smear that you can't see. So I just, you just use it for something else you don't waste. So finished doing that. And now I am using the Pixie Dust, It's Your Birthday, or I'm sorry, Birthday Sentiments. And so there's a couple different sentiments. There's birthday wishes, um, birthday party, and then happy birthday. And I just used the happy birthday. 
and I cut the background and the layer out of the um, wild lilac Gina K papers but then the top layer is going to be the passionate pink and it really looks great when you cut the layering um, words out of the same color that your background that it's going to sit on so it adds the dimension and it's not noticeable at all because it blends in with the background that it's sitting on so I mean you don't want to waste your good paper but it was a really nice add to this card I'm getting the little tittle from birthday on there getting the happy glued on and then I take um, a shaker one of those full panel shaker um, I forget what they're called from uh, waffle flower so you peel off and then wrap the sides around your panel but you leave the top open so that you can fill with uh, sequins and so I use uh, Hero Arts Purple Ombre sequins they are beautiful probably my favorite sequins and then I used Hero Arts Ombre Peacock for that teal blue and then I had some Recollections white sequins and some Recollections dark pink sequins that I threw in there as well so it's all the colors of the card in the full size shaker and so we'll glue on our happy birthday sentiment and then we're gonna glue the birthday icons that we Copic colored all around it and again at the very very end you'll see the party hat that actually ends up the banner the flags end up going on the inside of the card which turned out so cute I love it how that happened too so for my six-year-old niece or soon to be six-year-old great niece I should say this turned out perfect it was exactly what I envisioned it's something that she would love she loves interactive cards so really love how this turned out so now I am adding the card panel the shaker panel onto a card and I couldn't use that one because that one was not four and a quarter by five and a half it was too small so I used it for something else so getting my card panel added to the card base and now I'm going to take and stamp a sentiment and add the banners into the interior just to make it even more fun so the sentiments are from the same um, it's your birthday stamp set and I just stamped those with uh, memento tuxedo black ink and then glue the banner at the top it just adds so much to it and so that is almost the finished card so now you can see I colored the party hat turquoise and I think it makes a big difference thanks so much for joining me have a great day